and welcome back. So I'm so excited to be finishing up this project. Uh, if you, if this is your first video, my name is Stacy Kearns. I am a Cincinnati artist and I'm very excited to be a part of UC's bicentennial year. And I am painting a painting of McMicken Hall. This painting is gonna go into a children's book called Let's Be Boldly Bearcat. And I'm so excited about that. And so I have been videotaping the process of creating this painting and we're coming down to this should be the last episode. So we'll see how I do finishing it up. Um, if you've been joining me the entire time, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. I love when you ask me questions. So please don't hesitate to ask questions, uh, especially, you know, as I'm finishing up now, if you're wondering anything about what I'm doing. So I started out my process with a pencil drawing. I went in and used, and I should turn this a little bit so you can see it. I used joint compound to create McMicken building and the grass um, and the images. And then I paint. I paint with acrylic paint and latex paint. So that's what uh, I use. So I love that you get a chance to kind of um, see my process and uh, follow along with me. So super fun. As I'm painting, I've got on Crossroads Daily Worship. Crossroads Church does this every day uh, and puts it on and I absolutely love it. It just sets the tone and sets the mood in my, um, my studio. And I believe that all of my paintings are a form of visual prayer. So it's, that's really important to me to kind of set that that mood. So uh, I am going to get started. I will be finishing up details, uh, especially these windows. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more in the sky and then bringing in some more colors. Uh, again, I, I block in kind of the, the realistic colors of the building and grass and things and then I bring my own kind of flair to it where I'll be adding a blues and reds and what else do I, am I get? Maybe some yellows, some different browns, uh, just to kind of spice it up and, um, I don't make it fun. So I hope you enjoy watching. If you haven't seen the other videos, definitely hop on YouTube, uh, on Stacy Kearns Art, or of course it's on Stacy Kearns Art on Facebook. And if you haven't seen my other paintings and my paintings for sale, uh, StacyKearnsArt.com. You can uh, jump on there and check out the artworks that are for sale. But I'm always doing custom pieces. If there's ever one that you would like, definitely get a hold of me. Um, and I'd love to make a video of it. I mean, that kind of gives you a really special keepsake. Um, you know, if you've got a, a painting in your home and you've got the video of the artist painting it. So that makes it super fun. It might also be fun if you want to give a gift to somebody, um, an amazing gift to, would be having me do a painting and I could videotape it and you could give them the painting and then they could see the, the whole process. So that's fun. Also, big, big news. I can't believe I waited this long. What we have decided to do is, I, this is my original painting. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is making prints from this painting. So what this means is you can order a print of the painting. They come in many different sizes. And actually my favorite size, which is, I've got one right here. This is a flower, but this is an eight by eight canvas. It's got this flap on the back, which I absolutely love because this is great for on somebody's desk, up on a shelf. Um, I've got one by the sink in my kitchen. I mean, I've got them, I've got them all over. I love these. Um, but just imagine somebody that you know that um, goes to UC or went to UC. I can also have them personalized where I can have their name, their graduation date. Um, any information can be put on there. So I'm going to be putting those prints on my website and you'll be able to order those. So once I get this finished, I'll set those up for sale. So definitely be looking out for it. And I'll probably do a big uh, announcement about that, uh, about the print. So uh, for me, that's really exciting. And what a thoughtful gift to give somebody or even yourself. Um, you know, if you're a UC grad, it might be kind of neat to have that the painting of McMicken. So, uh, and for you to be able to see the whole process. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to start painting. I'm going to go ahead and turn this. So hopefully you can see it. And I'm going to put our crossroads on. All right. What is up guys? Good morning. Welcome to daily worship. My name is Jennifer. <laughs> Her mom, Chris, it's, it's good to see everybody today. 
I am uh, a worship leader with Crossroads here in this uh, campus behind me. This is our Lexington campus, formerly known as Andover. And this is my good pal, Jennifer. Jennifer. And she is a site producer yes. and uh, co worship leader. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's sing a little bit. I love this orange in here. I love what that's doing. It's funny, my dear friend Bev asked me how I can keep from singing. That's hard sometimes, but you don't wanna, you wanna see me paint, you don't wanna hear me sing. So I'm gonna try really hard not to sing. But boy, some of these songs, I just wanna belt out with them. But you could sing along at home.
Wait, my PC went out.
one of those things might be um, fear. Um, there are certain things that I'm afraid to do that that I just will not do, and so I essentially am a slave um, to, to fear. Um, another thing that uh, actually, uh, after hearing a, a talk that, uh, that Brian gave, um, I realized that I needed a shake-up in is this. I cannot go a day without checking my Instagram. And so um, kind of an action step for me is I actually uh, – just posted this, um, that I'm going to take a little break, um, because there is power in, in Jesus to, um, to not be, um, wrapped up in those things. There's power because of who Jesus is to not be wrapped up by anything, um, but be set free because of the truth of who he is and who he says we are. Um, so what, what I would love for us to do right now is in the comments to just say, hey, this is a thing that I am struggling with. This is a thing where I need freedom, and Jesus, I want you to set me free in that. And maybe um, something that you know, feels seemingly harmless, or it may feel like something that's really, really serious and just wrecks your world. But either way, um, if you feel comfortable with that, um, this community wants to lift each other up. Um, so yeah, uh, the song that we're going to sing is a song that we sing a lot on the weekends. Um, and it says this, our chains are gone, our dead is beat, the cross has overthrown, for Jesus' blood, our chains are this tool, uh, this palette knife, to put the um, window panes in. One reason I use this tool is because I can't get it exact. It kind of keeps my style loose and a little bit more abstract, and that's what I'm going for. Um, because you might be wondering why I'm not using like a, a thin brush, which I will come in with a paintbrush, um, but I like to just kind of get uh, some the basic shapes on here with the palette knife because I have less control so that's part of part of my look is just to have that kind of free less control look
I started in on here, um, and I know it's hard to see from that far back, but not happy at all with the way that's looking. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint over that and start over again. That's why I love paint, is because if I start on something that I'm not liking, I can just paint right over it. And actually, I think I like, kind of like that look a little bit better. And I'm gonna do a little bit more abstract on those windows.
against down the things that feel like chains in our life, that we, whether we realize it or not, can be slaves to. We pray that by your power, by your grace, by your truth, by your light, that those things would be um, both realized and broken. watching right now. Just pray blessings on the day as we go into whatever challenges, whatever things are ahead. God, we want to be a part of what you are doing. share button if you want to, and uh, thanks for joining us. Have a great day, guys. Love y'all. guys, good morning. My name is Andy Ryder, and uh, it's really good to be here with you guys. It's good to be here with you guys. If you're brand new to this whole thing, uh, this is something we've been doing for a while now where we get together as a community every morning uh, to worship, to sing some songs that talk about uh, who God is. And, and honestly, a lot of these songs also talk about who we are, and particularly who we are in response. And uh, I think there's a few reasons that we do this. Uh, one is because the Bible says loads of places that God loves it when we do this. Okay, one. Two, that it's good for us when we do it. It's a commandment, and it's good for us to be reminded of the things we have to be grateful for, all of the things that we have to uh, be thankful for. Um, and, and I think at least thirdly, there's I'm sure there's a million other reasons for somebody smarter than me here, but third reason that I think is really good, particularly in the context of doing this um, daily, kind of in the format that we've been doing here, is I think it's just it's really good for us as a community to say these things together kind of with one voice and say, God, you're really good. God, you're really faithful. God, you're really um, never run out of ways to show me who you are. You never run out of ways. anything that you're doing today, I want to be with you. If there's anything that you've got going on, whether it's on my calendar, whether it's on my agenda, whatever, God, I want to have the wherewithal and the awareness to just like pause whatever my agenda is and be about what I want to do. You're up. So to that end, I think it's just a prayer like, God, would you interrupt our day? Would you interrupt our day?
So if you can see, I'm kind of jumping in here with some colors that are pretty unexpected. I've got this kind of uh, fun teal color uh, just to kind of add interest and, and get some last minute uh, colors on here. I'm getting to a point where I'm feeling pretty good about the painting. And what I'll do is I usually um, finish this to my liking and then set it aside and really take a couple of days to just kind of look at it to see if I need to, to change anything or um, especially in art. Let me turn this down. Uh, in, in art, if you can kind of step back from things and get a better look at it, uh, it always helps. Especially like I'll, I'll think I'm finished with the painting and then I, I set it to dry and I come in the next morning and I'm like, oh, no, I don't like how that looks. Um, so I'll kind of go back into it and, and fix some things up. So it's that's not unusual for me. But I just wanted to get this to a point on camera with you that um, I was pretty happy with it. So I'm getting close. I'm still kind of fooling with those uh, windows a little bit, but I think I like them more abstract. I, I started putting the window panes in and I was not liking where that was going. So I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it more abstract with those. Um, I did lighten up the sky a little bit, uh, added some more shadows down here. So let me give you a closer look at this. Uh, and then, like I said, I, what I'll do is put it aside. Okay, so here's the painting. Let me just give you a closer look. And I just want you to kind of see that texture on there. So thank you for joining me. Um, like I said, I'll put this aside. I'll look at it uh, probably tomorrow morning and see if I need to do one more video. We will. Uh, if not, definitely be looking for this on StacyKearnsArt.com. I'm going to have uh, prints for sale. So I'm excited about that. Thanks for just uh, going along on this ride with me.